awoken you back. So now what we can do is like uh, we saw that uh, how we can use the Q&A Maker service and hit that using the postman that happens to be the RESTful API simulator or the web API simulator whatever you say. With that like uh, let me introduce you to a new service here which you might be using for our complete simulation and uh, for the boat service managed boat service in a better word if I say and uh, we'll be consuming that and uh, we call that the boat service in Azure so let me type in Azure boat service search it and there you go so this is uh, the Azure boat service so uh, it provides you the great conversational kind of uh, thing and it has out of the box some of the channels which might be the web application which might be your application which might be Cortana Microsoft Teams Skype Slack Facebook Messenger and much much more and what we'll be using is it for our QA maker service so for that I would simply just go out there and portal.au.com that's the portal for Microsoft Azure and uh, what we would be doing here is I'll go and click on create a new resource type in boat and I'll see three kind of offerings here that is web app boat, functions boat and boat channel registrations for now I'll be using the web application boat Click on create, type the name of boat that is my my test boat visa. It will validate that if that's available or not. So uh, let me create a new one, type into delete so that uh, I delete it afterwards. <laughs> And uh, for now, I'm using the free tier. I can also use uh, the standard one. It is recommended that if you guys are like uh, going into the production and using it for your web application out there in the production, so I would suggest you guys to go for the S1 one. And the boat template here, we are going to choose the QNA Maker. So you can develop your custom boat as well. We are not going to talk about that. And uh, right now, like uh, I'll simply just go with uh, q and I'll select that. And uh, in the app service plan, say it would create a new app service plan, no worries. And storage, it would create a new storage as well. And with that, like uh, you'll be able to see that there is Microsoft App ID and Password. So each and every board that has been created, so it has its unique App ID and Password for the identification. So uh, you can also just go into this and uh, go with the wizard. So right now I need not to just go into this as uh, I'm connecting it with the Q&A service and uh, I need not to have the App ID and Password added as I'm not developing any of the thing. So I'll simply let it automatically create it for me and I can utilize that in the future. So with that, like uh, there are two options that is for the application insight. I can turn it on or off. So I suggest you to turn it on so that you just get each and every insight of how your board is performing. What is the performance out there? Uh, do you need to increase the consumption or something like that? Or maybe what kind of crashes you are just getting? What kind of uh, traffic that you are getting and uh, respectively the other kind of things that you might be interested in know. So it's really more related to the telemetry of your application that's uh, running. I'll simply create uh, it by clicking here and uh, it's validating my ARM template. So once it validates that, boom, there you go. And uh, now it would just move into the process of creation. So the good thing about the boat is that uh, it's all uh, managed and um, like you need not to take care of any of the infrastructure here. 
it's uh, really easy for you to just go out there uh, type in some of the questions and their probable answers train the boat a bit once you do that what you can do is like simply just go out there and uh, publish that here in Azure and once you publish here so you can always add new and new channels and uh, once you add the new channel so that would be super cool for your customers for your customer engagement and uh, uh, the good thing that I told you was uh, that the Q&A maker service itself can be utilized and consumed in any of the programming language either it be an application that's in iOS and is being developed in Objective-C or maybe Swift or that might be uh, an Android application that might be written in Kotlin or maybe in Java so you can use like uh, your service of QNM Maker and simulate uh, the chat experience in your mobile application as well. And with that, like for example, you're using WordPress and you want to simulate using uh, some of the custom plugins or maybe the custom modules that you have already developed for the chat experience. So, what you can do is like simply integrate uh, that uh, using uh, the QNM Maker and integrate that in PHP. So there you go, our resource has already been created. That's my, my test boat, Beza. And uh, there, I'm able to see that there are some of the options here. Overview, activity log, if I want to see any of the activity out there. A, I, IAM, that is access control, if I need to give the access to a particular uh, service. I want to add a tags for my building and other respective kind of uh, stuff. Uh, there you go, so there is the build option which means that I can simply uh, edit the files online and uh, change and tweak my code. As I told you, I won't be covering any of the code here and this would be the codeless uh, chatbot that you will be developing. But still, if you want to just edit and go into the code and deep dive into that, so what you can do is simply click on this. It will just simply open uh, the editor and uh, that will be the online editor that we used to have with uh, we also did a team service initially if you remember so there you go there it is and uh, like there I have a dialogue uh, in dialogue I have basic QA maker before the dialogue it just uh, comes from sorry for this uh, controller so this is a message controller which we're routing that to the basic QA maker dialogue so it goes to root dialog and the root dialog comes here in the QA maker. So this is the root dialog and uh, in this QA maker dialog it uh, asks for two of the things. Number one is the QA subscription key and number two is the uh, QA knowledge base ID. Um, the, if it doesn't find the, the both of those, so it just goes out there and type in the message please at the QA base ID and subscription ID in the application settings so I'll go there and uh, uh, I can simply test it inside the web chat which is available right away in my Azure here so I'll tap in some of uh, the questions which I might ask that is hold on first one and it says that please set Q&A knowledge base ID and Q&A subscription key in application settings and get them uh, at uh, QA Maker AI. So uh, for this video, I believe that we are stuck and uh, the resolution would be in another video the next time. So uh, if you want to try it yourself, so I'll give you a hint. And this uh, like uh, search, if you type application setting, you'll find a kind of similar tab like this. And you need to add this stuff and this stuff and that respective key pair values so if you are able to figure that out that's super cool if you're not so you can watch my next video